Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how I made um, these little pinwheels, which, you know, have been around for forever. Um, I just continued to use the Maggie Holmes um, Flourish Collection for the actual pinwheels. Um, I really do wish that Maggie Holmes did her paper double-sided because I think these would have turned out much cuter. Um, but I did use some cut-aparts ticket cut aparts from the carousel collection as the top and then just some flourish tickets as the main pieces um, so I kind of mixed the two for the toppers but yeah let's get straight into it so you can do these pinwheels in any style like this was just like a sample one that I was making um, so you're gonna need to cut perfect squares um, one and three-fourths inch by one and three-fourths inch so square it's even on both sides um, I cut these two already um, just an easy way like if you've never made a pinwheel before now I don't have to use this marker but I just eyeball it and put a dot in the middle um, and that just helps me you know can help you where to go so you're just gonna cut starting up or the corner cut up and leave a space between the edge of your cut and that dot about a fourth of an inch and once you do a lot of these or you do more than one you'll get the hang of it you won't need that dot and you're not going to be measuring anything is that better so again like this not touching the dot but getting close to it really getting to know your scissors <laughs> just kidding then i use hot glue um i think you could use like a brad technically anything you know of that sort but the pinwheels do look better because it's only like the paper's only one-sided um do you want your design on this these four inner sections or the outer the outer sections are actually bigger so it's going to show more of the design of the paper so if you want that you start with the design facing up. And then you're gonna have, you know, you see all these little like, you're gonna work with the same side on every corner. So you either wanna fold up the left side or the right side. Uh, this has some gold foiling detail, so I'm gonna start, just get the left side corner of your tag. So I'm working at the bottom. You get your left tag and just fold it towards the center. Then you rotate it, doesn't matter which way, and start with your left side and rotate and bend that inward. Then rotate it again, work with your left side since you're working with your left side. If you were to do right, you do all the right corners. So left corner goes toward the center. Then you get your hot glue gun and just do a dab in the center kinda. I just hold the paper down with my the tip of my hot glue gun while it kinda like sets. And then you just, you know, keep rotating and hold it down. A little bit of glue. Hold that piece down. A little bit of glue. Hold that piece down. And it's okay if there's like glue bulging from the middle because we're going to cover that up anyway. Um, you can stick lots of stuff in the middle. Um, like ephemera, an enamel dot, a gem, a jewel, you name it, you know? Okay, so that's gonna do this one as well. So now what I do, um, again, using that um, Maggie Holmes Crepe Paper sells some of this, like on a piece of cardboard but this whole roll is found at Hobby Lobby I've been using it on all my uh, Maggie Holmes series videos <laughs> um, oh here's some right here I'm just cutting um, individual leaves two little leaves per per pinwheel And just rotate your leaf how, I mean not your leaf, your pinwheel like where you think you would want it. Like I want that gold detail to show at the top and not be blocked. Uh, 
really think I like them like that. But I just glob some glue in the middle. That way I can move these guys around to where I like it. And another glob of glue. I like the more glue the merrier. <laughs> because it just if you don't put a lot of glue, your pinwheel paper can come apart and start popping up because there wasn't enough glue. I've had that happen. Okay, so that's what it's like gonna look like then I used these paper flowers from recollections um, with that mega sale they have I didn't know what I was gonna use these for because they're like kind of like darker but it's perfect for the um, the Maggie Holmes flourish collection do not want to use my good scissors cutting wire so I want a pink one probably for that guy and a yellow one for this guy. So it's, it's a lot of the papers have, um, you know, yellow in them. I'm just straightening out the flower. Mm, looks good. So I like to put the flowers on first before I start shoving in um, string. So that's what I'll do right now. Lots of glue. Be generous. I made these little like I don't know what they're called <laughs> there is a name um, just like my other um, embellishments I decorated the, the top of the bag with stuff like this um, instead of four fingers wide you only use two fingers for this this actual design so just wrap it twice one two and it doesn't have to be tight just pinch the centers together so it makes an eight I like to put a little bit of glue give it a second so it's not scorching hot you can blow on it too <sighs> then pinch and roll together like I said let, let it cool just a tad don't do it straight out of the hot glue gun because you will burn yourself and it hurts like a mother and then I cut these little um leftover pieces off So now I get my tweezers, I kind of fold this guy to where I think I'm going to want him. Let's see, right there, a little more towards the top. I just lift the petals a little bit. Get my tweezers and really shove it down under and then push the leaf down while it's still hot. So that it covers it kind of fan them out all while the glue is setting and again with this guy and there we have it and then I have a million straws so I used just straws um, these are paper straws um, these ones are from Target um, but I'm just going to continue with the gold. Um, these are from Target as well, Target Dollar Spot. Um, these were out around Valentine's Day. So you'll get your straw. You can also use a toothpick. These are flat sandwich picks. Um, I had a lot left over from my Etsy shop. Um, they look just as cute. So you could use those as well. I wanted these a little bit more dimensional and off the page. So you just get your scissors and cut at make them about two and a half inches. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Then the very um, tip, tip, probably about an inch-ish, I just smash it completely down. So the rest is puffy, still a straw. And then the last inch, I just smash it down with my fingers. About an inch, three-fourths an inch, whatever it may be. Um, you can also smash the entire straw down um, I think that would look good as well. Be generous with the glue. Oh, 
stacking them next to each other so that the straw is the same um, like length because you can you know slide this up and down on the straw while it's wet hold it down and there you have it super cute right and like super easy once you make your little pinwheels and cut them and I mean it goes by super fast once you you know don't gotta measure stuff or whatever it may be and then I got my wink of Stella um, that's literally the name of this like I remember when people were talking about it they're all oh yeah I used my wink of Stella I'm like uh, what the heck are you guys talking about so it's basically a brush and it has like almost glittery liquid in it Let's see if I can get it on camera and I just went over the leaves so I'm just like painting it on it comes out very you know minimal but leaves such um a glistening effect I don't know if you guys can see that on camera what about over here I guess I'll find out when I edit um I just put that on all the flowers here I'm just being sloppy painting it everywhere I do need another one this is running out um, if I, I'll link this down below. It's my favorite go-to thing if you don't want to get out glue, glitter, embossing powder. And when you are doing this, make sure you unscrew it when you first buy it and take out, there's like a black, almost like a cap in there that you got to like take it out so that you can actually get the liquid from this part because you can push it to the chamber that comes out the paintbrush. It's kind of like a lip gloss, you know, you got to get it started first. So yeah, I love these things. And this one is an um, ear, oh yeah, yeah, called Glitter Clear 999. Then with some paper and my Hobby Lobby cellophane bags. Okay, looks about good. Um, I was gonna do uh, washi tape to tie these down, but then I was like, Washi tape might peel off the metallic. I wasn't sure and I didn't want to risk it and it have it be all ugly when it gets to the person. Um, so I just put some on the back because they could just rip that off and um, re, you know, glue to whatever their, whatever project they're working on. I just hold it down for a little bit so it stays straight. And again. Being generous with the glue so these guys don't like um, detach and go on a wild ride. Super cute, right? I think this paper is a little too long for my packaging. These are super dimensional, so they're gonna um, fit tight. Well, maybe because I'm sticking them in a tight bag, but yeah, it still looks cute. Okay, then um, I'm using this trim, you guys saw me using the other ones, um, I have a like a minty color, I have a white color, and a, um, a pink color. <sighs> I'm gonna have to buy more when I'm on my, um, when I'm off of my grounding of no spend, grounding myself. So I just, on the one inch part of plastic, I put the hot glue and this hot glue melts this plastic look at it it's already warping and curling so I gotta work fast hallelujah okay then these are all my Maggie Holmes um, cut aparts they were 12 by 12 sheets and I cut them I fussy cut them well I didn't really fussy cut I used my um my paper trimmer and these ones, these tickets with the perforated edges, um, those are tear apart, so I didn't have to cut those. These are these ones, these big giant ones are from Carousel. All these other ones with wood grain backing are from the Flourish collection. So I'm gonna try to find something that's not too carousel. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna do that. And you can put it on either side. I think I'll do it over here. Got my stapler. Um, I have a Tim Holtz stapler. 
it's like a smaller staple. These are pink staples, but um, I can't find where the staples are, so I can't even freaking use it. I need to I'm still cleaning, organizing, really getting ready for that detailed, in-depth craft room tour. Okay, so these are them, guys. Um, I love the way they turned out. And I hope you guys do too. And I hope you have fun and, you know, change them to whatever theme you need to do. And use sticks, use straws, use whatever you have, you know, skewers, you name it. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.